Here in Edinburgh's popular Meadows area, six elm trees are soon to be felled after falling victim to Dutch elm disease. However, thanks to the generosity of Edinburgh City Council and the skills of the Scottish Furniture Makers Association, the trees should continue to bring benefits for years to come. We caught up with the association's secretary, Tom Cooper, to find out more. We were seeing a sort of all these trees um, coming down because um, of the Dutch elm disease, and we thought, well, wouldn't it be nice to, 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 to do a project with these trees? We contacted the Edinburgh Council and we sort of asked them about um, what was happening. We told them about our idea for the exhibition for the 10th anniversary of the Scottish Furniture Makers Association next year. Um, and they were really generous in, in, in donating the trees to us. If left, the elms will slowly die as the disease takes hold. In the meadows, several trees have acquired the council's big red X, marking them out as infected and for the chop. Once felled, the process of preparing the wood begins. It should be brought to here at New Battle Abbey and also to Gogoburn Cabinet Works where they will be planked and air dried for six months and then they should be put into a kiln to bring down to 10% uh, moisture content. Uh, which then we should distribute amongst um, the makers of the association to make furniture from. The association represents over 60 craftspeople who will be invited to submit their designs to a judging panel. A unique chair will also be created and gifted to the Lord Provost as a thank you for the Council's donation. The completed works will go on show at the Dovecot Gallery in Edinburgh next year. It's nice for us to, to see trees that would otherwise not be used transforming into, into beautiful furniture that's going to carry on and last for another couple of hundred years. So it seems these elms, though dying, have been given a new lease of life. Work will begin once the milling and drying process completes and the trees in their new form should be on show from October 2011. This is Jamie Palmer reporting for Stevenson TV, Edinburgh.